Today we talk about the closed loop portfolio and business analytics. Monitoring, blending and going into detail. On the screen you see a dashboard with real-time transactions for CFO, Chief Financial Officer. He goes into his dashboard and looks into the details for his net revenue. The net revenue is uh, divided into different tiles like profit and loss and EVA. And he can select certain periods or a certain product group. There are also a section for total expenses into detail. When the CFO ticks a tile, he or she can uh, see more details about the dashboard, change the currency, or add a comment to share with his colleagues. Simply ticking the comment button and add a new comment. The comments are stored in a separate database. The dashboard is built up around different tabs. There is a tab with geo-related information where you can tick on a certain area and see below how the uh, performance is against the threshold indicates with color coding. You can zoom in and select a certain area on the geo map. There's also interactivity. Over here you see the customer lines where the CFO can toggle between different ways of viewing his data. For example, a stack bar or a combined line and bar chart. There is also radar charts if needed. He can choose from a variety of chart types. The next step that I want to show you is some key uh, performance indicators for corporate income. As you can see on the screen, there's also an analysis button where the CFO can change the way he looks at the data by simply dragging and dropping a new attribute in between there is a deep dive into the half year indicator. When the CFO wants to combine his data with non-corporate data, he can go to a self-service area by simply bringing the data to the self-service section and within the self-service section, he can bring in additional information. First, he starts enriching the data quality. There is a little issue over here with a uh, double count for uh, Great Britain and for the United Kingdom. And now he brings in a separate file with forecast. And later on, also an additional file with Reuters market growth information he found on the web. He combines this information with the data that he had available in his corporate dashboard that we just saw. The two data sets come together and you can see that he now has a combination of forecast data and in the next section over here also the Reuters data that he brings in from an Excel sheet in this case, but that can also be another system or web service. At this moment, the CFO has a combination of three types of data, forecast data, Reuters market growth uh, data, and his data that he had from his corporate dashboard that was created for him. He can simply combine the data in a new analysis, change the, the way he looks at the data, and even create calculations, new hierarchies, or other types of insights that he requires. Over here, he's combining the three different sources of data into one new screen. As you can see over here, three data sources are combined. He now makes a selection for a few countries that he wants to focus at. I prepared the data a little bit for you with creating new calculations, some insights over here. And again, this is the combination of three sources of data. And I created different visualizations, also plotted on a geo map, an SV map, where you can see his corporate data with market growth and his forecast data. In the end, he creates a storyboard and starts uh, decides to save the storyboard on the platform because he'd like to share it with other colleagues. He logs in to the, to the corporate portal, the business intelligence portal. And as you can see over here, he puts his data in his favorites folder. 
and it's now stored in the favorite folder. If we go to the portal, over here you can see his analysis. Again, a combination of three sources, uh, types of data, his corporate data and two sources he found on the web, forecast and um, Reuters market growth. He can make the selections as he designed it in his self-service section. And over here, you see the second page that he created. He can even create a document link so that he can share with people who have not access to the platform. He now decides to provide his analysis on a mobile device. He ticks the properties and says create analysis for mobile device, prepare for mobile device, and he sends a message to one of his colleagues indicated with the identification number of the employee stored in the launchpad. He sends the message and this person now opens up his iPad and has a message on the top right hand side of the iPad application, the BI mobile application. Over here you can see the combined information that the CFO created where the use of this dashboard can just double tap on an analysis and zoom in. Also the control boxes or the next page is available. Over here, the user goes to the next page, makes a few selections for a few countries and automatically the analysis adjusted. This user wants to share this information with one of his colleagues and likes to ask the attention of a colleague for a certain area in Poland, which is uh, indicated as wet with a bad performance. He taps the annotate button in his iPad application, writes on the screen, please check. He now taps the email button, types in the email address, and the new user, the, the second user, now receives automatically an email with a link, a QR code, and a snapshot of the analysis so that he or she can immediately go to the analysis and start investigating. Another example is that the same user selects, swipes, and drill down into a certain analysis with more detail. Again, this user makes a second selection, dives into the detail, and wants to share this with a new colleague and asks, can you please have a look at this specific line and sort this out. He puts in a comment via his mobile device. A last um, example that I show you is similar. Again, an analysis that was created on the storyboard. We zoom in and we ask another user to have a look at a certain negative trend line in the forecast accuracy. We put a uh, important mark with it we put a comment in it and we send the link to this user who can immediately using QR code, link or snapshot, use the analysis. A second example of going into detail from a corporate dashboard is the following. This is a store manager dashboard for a retail organization. There are different tiles that provide the store manager with insight about the performance of his uh, chain of stores. He can have a look at the last seven days, the next 30 days, for example. He can have a look at the performance of his staff. And those, he can make selections for a certain period and see how the occupation of the staff in the different stores was organized. He can even drill down to individual staff member. There's also a tab with average visit time, where we also plotted IoT data, sensor data on how long people stayed in a certain area of a store, visualized with a heat map. Over here, you see the customer analysis, where we can see how customers bought and who's the best selling customer. And we have a button over here with details, which brings us to a detailed report where we can have an overview per customer and we can even drill down if we wish. By simply tapping the drill down button, 
tick on a column and we drill down to the lowest detail level. If we want to create a new report, we tick the design button, add a new report, and we just simply choose from the elements that are delivered to us for analyzing. Over here, you see the different attributes. We control click, choose a measure, simply select a type of analysis, a bar chart, for example, drag it to the canvas, and here is our analysis per customer, per product category. We can add a second chart if we wish, with a slightly older analysis and combine that in one report. And in the end, we can do the same trick as with the self-service. We can save this report again to our business intelligence portal, where we can make it available for other users who can have a look at it either via a browser or via a mobile device. Thank you for your attention.